Hello and welcome to Transfer Mark TV. My name's Stefan Minkowski, he's Manu Vitt, and we are back once again to talk about another fantastic, interesting young player. This week we saw our championship market value update go live and perhaps the headline figure uh, across the whole league was Watford forward Hal Pedro becoming the most viable player in the league, uh, seeing his market value rise by 8 million euros. Uh, he's now worth 32 million euros. Uh, and obviously any Brighton fans watching this will know fine well who he is. He's probably have seen all the YouTube videos, but Manu, uh, for those of us who don't have a season ticket at Watford, uh, for those of us who aren't Googling uh, Brighton signings week in, week out, why do you let us know what Pedro's been up to at Watford, what he's been up to in the Championship, and why he's the most viable player in the league right now? Yeah, we probably should also add, right, that he's gone to Brighton now for, for 34.2 million euros, which is their record signing. Um, he's been having a phenomenal season for a club that failed to, you know, get promoted uh, back to the Premier League um, this season in the Championship, which is a very, very tough competition to get out of once you go down there. But, you know, um, still 11 goals and 5 assists in 35 games. Um, he's not necessarily a typical number 9. Um, he's a player that led the league uh, in, in many underlying scats. He's a phenomenal one-on-one. -on -one. Um, he's in the top 10 when it comes to touches inside the box. Um, he's a player that is extremely creative, right? Um, and, you know, although Watford didn't get promoted, he was still very dangerous as a player. And, yeah, I think this is a signing. You always get the sense that whenever Brighton do sign someone, they get it right. Um, and I feel that um, although he was categorized as a lot of things, right, uh, as a center forward, for example, I don't think that is quite his best position. I think he does play best off a actual number nine, and they have someone like that in Evan Ferguson, who's really talented at Brighton, right? Um, he, he's kind of plays in that position the best. But yeah, this is a phenomenal player, Stefan. I think that uh, with his new market value, 32 million euros, um, which kind of reflects the transfer fee that uh, Bright paid for him. I think um, this is this is one of the standout players in the championship at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it goes without saying why players are interested in playing for Brighton these days. They're one of the smartest clubs in the Premier League. They give a lot of game time to young players. And then we obviously see what happens. But if you succeed at Brighton, you then end up an even bigger club uh, with you know a big fat paycheck as well in your back pocket. So... We know why he's moved to Brighton, but perhaps kind of digging even further into that, what, where do you think he fits into this team next season? You kind of touched on it a moment ago in terms of his key attributes, but you know Brighton already have a number of kind of interesting forwards and attacking players. So, how do you think he kind of fits into that lineup? Yeah, I mean that the if you are hoping as a Brighton fan that this is going to be your new centre forward, and um, I have to disappoint you a little bit because that's even though he's listed on Transfermarkt as a center forward, and that's often where he's plays, he's probably best just behind that. Um, when you look at the heat map that you have on scouting sites like WeScout that I used for the the article that I wrote for Transfermarkt at the beginning of the month when the transfer was made official, um, you, you find that he's often drifts to the left um, or comes in from the left, which makes sense. He's right-footed, right? So he kind of uses his speed and his one-on-one -on -one ability to kind of drift in from the left and find that opening to, for scoring opportunities. But I think he's best paired with an actual number nine. And, you know, um, when I talk to to our English experts on Transfermark, Daniel Bush, for example, who's in charge of the, the market value updates, um, he will mention that he could be a perfect replacement for Danny Walbeck, um, who is under contract until 2024, but is already a bit older, right? So you need to replace him eventually. You don't know what other players are going to leave Brighton. As we said, this is a club that brings in players, develops them, makes them better. Uh, in fact, if two of Brighton's players in Caicedo and McAllister do leave this this summer, which we, as some expect, he will be the most valuable player at the club there. But where he fits in, I think he, he is best off uh, playing next to an actual real number nine. And Then you go through the list and you look at the players that could potentially depart. And I think you, you get a really good idea of why he would be an excellent fit there. Yeah, I mean, obviously Evan Ferguson's there as the club's kind of number nine. Another extremely young, another extremely talented player who I'm sure Brighton will be probably hoping to keep a hold of for a couple of seasons. It'll be really interesting to see how the pair of them actually kind of link up next season and how long the club can keep both of them. I mean, there's already links to Ferguson moving on to Manchester United this summer, so 
I guess we just kind of have to wait and see what happens this summer. But for the time being, Brighton have a very exciting player to get, well, excited about, I suppose, uh, when he does make the move to the club this summer. Uh, but yeah, to keep on top of what he's been up to at Watford, to see who else has kind of gone up and down in market value in the championship, do check out our market value update, which is now up on the website. You will not struggle to find it. We've plastered it everywhere. Uh, and of course, if you're a Brighton fan or a Watford fan looking for transfer rumours, you can always check out our rumour mill as well. So yeah, plenty to check out on the website. Hit subscribe, like this video. Uh, yeah, and until next time, we'll see you soon.